It's time for Ryan's Roses. If you think someone's cheating on you, you need to get to the bottom line. But this is going to be intense. I can tell already based on the email. We're here as a public service to help you. Uh, Raquel says, I found a note in my underwear drawer saying, I'm sleeping with your husband. I have no idea how long it's been there. And if that's not enough to freak me out, I've also noticed that my husband never texts in front of me. But I have walked in on him texting many times in the garage, in the laundry room, in the bedroom. I think I have enough evidence to know he is cheating. Uh, I need your help to figure this out. Raquel, I can't even imagine the feeling you got inside when you saw this note. Yeah. Um, so I was I was planning um, like a really special romantic evening, and I went to my underwear drawer, and um, I was going through like all the really lacy, pretty stuff, and I find this note, and it says, I'm sleeping with your husband, and there's a lipstick kiss on it. Like some woman was in my house. She was in my bedroom. She was going through. She was touching my underwear. And I just feel so, so violated. I mean, this would indicate that he's cheating and she's in your room. She's in my room. I mean, she was in my drawer. I just feel so violated. What if she wore your stuff? Terrible. I don't know. I, exactly. Exactly. Oh, and I'm, I'm sick. And I, I believe in my heart that he's cheating on me. Like, he never... Well, never he has cheated. to be. Look at this note. I mean, he's not putting that note in there. Exactly. All right, so we want to call this guy and find out what's happening and who this, this woman is. Did, was there, Raquel, was there a name on the note? No, I don't know who this woman is. I'm going to have Patty offer some roses to your husband, and then we want to find out uh, who he sends him to and what he puts on the card. All right? Okay. Okay. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then whatever his name is, on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kids FM. Okay, here we go. Be very quiet so we can get the most information. Okay. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Eric? Uh, this is speaking. Eric, good morning. My name is Patty and I'm calling from Thoughtful Flowers. How are you? I'm all right. What's the purpose for this call? I'm calling you because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses this morning at no charge. I'm also including free delivery. All you have to do is just give me the name of the person you want to send them to, a note and the address, and I make sure they get delivered today. I'm only calling um, five customers I'm, today, so you're one of the lucky the lucky five. And they're beautiful. Well, I, I I appreciate the offer, but uh, I'm listen. I've been burned by stuff like this before. I've had my identity stolen, like my credit card. Had to be uh, had to be reissued and all that stuff. I'm not saying that this is what it is. No, I com- I, I completely understand why you may think that uh that this is a, a scam, but I can assure you it's not. I just opened my my flower shop two weeks ago, and uh, I want to expand my customers for the holidays. And you uh, uh, accepting these roses will help me because you will be able to refer me to your friends and family. I I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate that, and you know, I want I want the best for your business, but I uh, I just can't take that risk right now. And uh, I'm not asking you nice for I'm not asking you for your credit card number or your billing address. Just the name of the person you want to send them to in a note. And uh, and I and, and you know, like I said, I can I can also include a few coupons for you that you can use for the holidays. You know, for Thanksgiving or Christmas. I really appreciate the hard time. Eric, 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 it's Ryan Seacrest and Ellen Kay. I need Eric. you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio, Eric. What risk would you be taking if you were to accept this offer from Patty about the flowers? What's the risk? Uh, the risk the risk would just be essentially just getting, you know, giving her my personal information. But let me ask you a question, Eric. I actually yeah. have your wife Raquel on the line. Uh, is it possible that you're cheating on her? No, I'm not cheating on her. I'm what? Let me ask you. Let me ask you another question. Does Does this sound familiar? There was a note left in her underwear drawer. It says, "I'm sleeping with your husband." Do you know any? Would there anybody that could have been in your room that would have left that note? She did what? There's a There's a woman that you're sleeping with apparently that has left a note saying, "I'm sleeping with your husband," and left that in your wife's underwear drawer. Who is that woman? No, there's. Uh, I, there's. Who, who is it? I'm not cheating who on anybody. She? Who left the note? How'd she get into your house? There was, I, I don't know what this is. It's just a terrible joke. I don't know what... No. what, what how did this note How did this note get in her underwear drawer? Hell if I know. 
Probably just a, just some jerk at work. There some jerk at work is in your bedroom? I know there's oh, no, something I, going on. I have, people come, I have people come on over, you know, have a few beers and all that stuff. Someone could have just written that for laughs while I was, you know, a little tipsy in the living room. Why would anyone be have access to your wife's underwear drawer ever? I don't know. I don't lock the doors and stuff, and I apparently trust my friends a little bit too much. Oh, Eric, I think so. it sounds like something's going on here. I mean, this note was done in female writing, right? You could, did it look like a woman wrote it? Yes, and it was def- there was a lipstick kiss on it. It was a woman that kissed yeah, it. Yeah, there's lip imprints, bro. Lip imprints. Come, that's like that's a real thing. Come on. It, Eric, well, she kissed Eric, the note. Underwear drawer. Like, please tell me not what it on is. You. This, is, this is ridiculous. I got an idea. Raquel, why don't you show Eric this note, and then let's see what's happening, and then do a lineup of people that could have been at the house. But, I, you know, if you shouldn't be having women over, hanging out, having beers, then that, let them go to your bedroom, Eric. It's okay, it's, Ryan, it's, it's, it's pretty clear. My wife and this it is. I, that's why we're here, because this is between you and your wife. Not, the reason we're on the air with you is because it's between you and your wife. Exactly. So make it between you that's and your wife. And stop so, letting people into her underwear drawer. Wait, the, 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 Ellen, this is, you can't buy this. Eric, you're going to see this note. Raquel, why don't you show him this note? Wherever you are, you should find him and show him this note, okay? Okay, I, I just don't understand. I mean, it was obviously a woman that it's, put it it's in there. Clear, it's clear. It's, listen, he'll find he, out. He, he's, 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 he, he's hung up on me now, but he's, 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 there's something going on. I don't, I don't understand why he's letting people, women, in our bedroom. I mean, he never texts in front of me. If I come into the room and he's texting, he stops right away. I know there is something going on. Well, of course, you have this note. You have this note. 